everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's day 21 of my book read, and we will be doing Urban Legends that can be as books. Let's get going. There's so many urban legends around the world. I think it's quite fascinating with what legends that each country have associated with. So it's kind of interesting to look at. Of course, Canada is Bigfoot, and then we have Scotland for Nessie and such, uh, so on and so forth. So it's quite really interesting to look at all these different stories. Let's get going. So number one is the Yeti in the Himalayas. The Yeti is a muscular ape-like figure descending from shrimp from Falkorn. It's apparently so elusive because it can only survive at high altitudes, a lack of oxygen causing hallucinations or a real mountain ape man. That's a good point. We could just be hallucinating about everything. <laughs> the next one is the abandoned Indian village of Kuldahana. Across the board in India is an abandoned village said to be haunted by ghosts. This urban legend claims that the Prime Minister of the region ordered the daughter of the village leader to marry him. Rather than obey, the proud villagers simply disappeared, leaving only a curse on the village. It's said that anyone who tries to stand there is haunted by the whispers and screams of the old villagers. That sounds like right up my alley. I do want to go there, if it exists. <laughs> the next one is the Jinn in UAE. A Jinn is a supernatural creature from Arabic folklore, and the Um al Duwais is the most famous. Said to be a beautiful woman covered in gold and smelling of rich Arabic perfumes, she will call to men in an alluring voice. Those that follow discover her true identity, an old witch so scary the men drop dead. That one kind of surprised me but just because I didn't think it would be haunted, but it is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Building this architectural masterpiece in the 1920s and 30s was no easy feat, and unfortunately, many people fell to their deaths. There is a persistent urban legend that three men fell into the bottom of the brick pylons and were never retrieved. The next one is the Chupacabra in Puerto Rico. Deep in the remote jungle of Puerto Rico, villagers will tell tales of a reptilian-like creature who sneaks in to kill and drink the blood of livestock and pets. The name means goat sucker in Spanish. Biologists have dismissed it as an urban legend, but you won't convince the locals. The next one is Beijing's ghost bus. Um, I think this also is something similar to Japan. I think there's like a similar ghost bus in Japan. A country as big as China is a mine for urban legends. Ain't that the truth? This one recounts the last journey of the 302 bus to Flagrant Hills. A man boards the bus on a dark and stormy night and is soon flagged down by two men carrying a nun with long, messy hair. Fearing for her life, an old lady fabricates an argument with another passenger and they get thrown off the bus. Only later do they realize she saved their lives. The bus is found in the reservoir with three dead bodies, driver, conductor, and a man with long, unkempt hair. And speaking of this, in the Long Nest Monster in Scotland. Another conductor for most famous of the legend around the world, everybody has heard of Nessie, but only a few have seen her. Described as a sea serpent, monster fish, and a dragon, scientists have dismissed sightings as wish for thinking of hoaxes. Honestly, I agree with the scientists this time, because I don't believe there's such a thing as Loch Ness. Oh, Bigfoot. I think it just. A really top big gorilla, you know, like when they stand on their legs. I think it's a, just a gorilla, but yeah, I don't believe in Bigfoot. Oh well. <laughs> My next one is Germany's Krampus. Krampus is a popular legend in Central Europe, thought to come from the pagans. Now associated with Christmas, he is a half devil, half goat, creature that punishes bad children, creature that punishes bad children, hitting them with sticks or even eating them and taking them to hell. The result is children in Germany are particularly well behaved in the sandbar. I wonder why. <laughs> now, next one is Night Marches of Hawaii. First you hear the ghostly beat of a drum, before seeing a band of restless spirit warriors who are said to be searching for entry into the next world. If you come across the Night Marches, you must avert your eyes as one deadly glance can strike you down dead. So Medusa, I guess? I never thought this to be haunted, but I I believe I have been to this one and, oh actually it's a city I should say, but it's the cursed town of Thessaloniki. I actually, I'm pretty sure I've been to Thessaloniki, so I never thought it was cursed. 
Ancient Greek was famous for its mythology and modern Greece is not shut off urban legends. The Thessaloniki's emblem, the White Tower, is also known locally as the Red Tower. It's said to be stained with the blood of old prisoners and has to be regularly painted to erase the marks of a brutal past. And the next one is Pinky Pinky Kills from South Africa. This one sounds truly terrifying. A creature that attacks young girl is said to have a human face that's ugly, mortal, and bald. But if you look closely, the features become blurred, and all that can be seen are two pink colored eyes. My next one is Abu Miguel Masaluka in Egypt. A classic use of the urban legend is to scare children into decent behavior. Parents in Egypt know that one mention of this one legged monster will encourage kids to eat their veggies and get to bed early. Isn't there also an urban legend of King of Tutankham? I'm pretty sure that was also uh, a legend as well. And then my next one is the Scandinavian Gian Gengar. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Gian Gengar are undead souls with unfinished business in the living world. They will rise from the graves and torment their friends and family. The caution to keep the family in the graves including crucifixes. Then both painted on the coffin and a three-time parade and run a church before burial. My next one is Water Babies in Idaho. The Snake River in Idaho is said to be haunted by the spirits of babies drowned in its waters. This horrifying idea seems to come from a time when Native Americans experienced... Oh my god. I don't know if I should read this one. I'll just put a spoiler alert. When Native Americans experienced a terrible famine and had to drown their babies at birth, they were said to go fans of girls and there still reported sightings in the area of Massacre Rocks. Oh my god, that's heavy. Oh. And those are all the urban legends across the world. Um, those are some urban legends, honestly. But um, yeah, honestly, of course, we have Bigfoot, as I said earlier. We also have Nessie. Which I believe those two are like by far the most famous ones ever because everyone keeps talking about them. So very rarely we will hear other urban legends but those two are just famous everywhere. So let me know if you believe in Bigfoot or Nessie or even Uncle Pogo actually. We have our own Uncle Pogo too. So I'm surprised no one's talking about it as much. I think it's kind of similar to messy in some ways just because they're both serpents but yeah I think Nessie still attracts me the most though <laughs> but anyways uh, let me know what urban legend you have heard and oh yeah we also have the Wendigo as well and we have the skinwalkers which I don't believe in at all I think just rubbish I'm sorry but I don't think skinwalkers are real oh well not just me but um yeah so let me know what other legends you have heard and please like, comment, subscribe so you can notify every time I post. And I will see you next time for day 22 of my book of Adios.